Hey guys, this is Sam, and one iOS 11 feature that I have not talked about yet is AR Kit. And that's because for me, whenever I thought of AR in the past, I saw it as more of a gimmick than a feature. If you don't know what AR is, it's augmented reality, and the best example I could give you is Pokemon Go. So a lot of AR is actually really similar to Pokemon Go. You have your phone that displays things on your screen that are augmented, meaning they're not real, placed in the real world. So nobody else can see it, you can only see it on your phone screen, but when you look around, like the background would be a tree if you're outside, or the floor if I'm inside. And it's a really cool idea, but I just never thought it was useful until I saw some of the stuff that developers were doing with iOS 11. I cannot believe how useful AR is about to become, because with Pokemon Go, yeah, it was a game, but now you can do things like use a tape measure in augmented reality. Out of everything we're gonna look at, I think this one is my favorite just because it's so practical. I can't tell you how many times for myself I've been in the real world and I've needed a tape measure but I haven't had one. I've wanted to measure something and the tape measure was nowhere to be found. Well now you can use your iPhone in iOS 11 to just move your phone and measure something with a tape measure. That is incredible and whoever thought of that is a genius. Now if you thought that first one was cool, check this out. It is a portal that you can look at. And it looks like a normal portal, you know, we've probably seen this before, not a big deal, but you can walk inside. And it takes you to an entirely different location, and I don't even know what goes into developing this, but just being able to mess around with this. Not something you're gonna use every single day or pull out and be a daily app on your phone to experience on your own device in AR with iOS 11, that'd be super cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to look at this? Next up, we've got a couple games. Minecraft AR looks pretty fun. I don't think this is an official port just yet, but it looks pretty fun to mess around with. Like you can go through your house, place some blocks, mine through dirt with a pickaxe in your own house or outside, wherever you are. What's really cool about AR is it just attaches textures to anything, to a wall, to a table, to your floor. Moving on to the next game, Naval AR Battles, where you can just point your phone at the ground on this blue carpet and suddenly you're transformed from a normal room into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Or if you're really into space, check out the moon landing from the comfort of your own kitchen. Or if you really like Tesla or SpaceX, you can watch a Falcon 9 land in someone's Cool. I feel like the possibilities for AR are just endless. Now next up is this plane demo, and at first it doesn't look like this one does anything different than we've seen in the other demos. This is just a person walking around a plane, but I'm amazed that the size of the object remains stable in the environment. It's just the camera work that gets a little bit shaky. But once you actually go closer to the plane, I'm just amazed at how much detail you can see. I didn't think about that function of AR being able to summon a car or a plane or a train and actually get up close to it and see what's on the inside rather than just walking around it on the outside, which is pretty neat. Moving on to these last three, you can park a car using AR with this cool demo. I don't know how, once again, it can attach to a texture outside and just work, but it does. Or ordering food. Imagine being at a Wendy's or a McDonald's, some fast food place, and being able to see what that food's gonna look like on the table right in front of you using only your phone. But finally, the one that blew my mind the most and that was the creepiest by far is this robot thing that is dancing in someone's living room. You can notice the device is moving around and somehow the developer integrated AR so that the robot isn't moving around, it isn't glitching out. I mean, it looks like there's a real robot dancing around in this person's living room. It is insane. So those were 10 demos that I wanted to show you today, but I am very interested to hear your thoughts. I think that AR is becoming something really cool, and Pokemon Go was like the beginning, I think. I think AR is gonna go really far. I mean, with the tape measure, and with that portal where you can go in and out, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to mess around with, and it's definitely one of the features that I completely overlooked when iOS 11 was first announced. Just because obviously nobody made anything on day one, but in the month following, we've already seen some amazing stuff. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like down below, and of course subscribe if you wanna see more videos on iOS 11 in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you later.